In this video, I started out with zero dollars in his truck and spent the last four years building the farm to where it is today, only to go broke. So now I have the challenge of starting over on a brand new farm with next to no money. Will I go broke or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, boys, it's another day, another dollar back out here on the farm. We've got $49,000, just about $50,000 actually. Anyways, things have been pretty busy around here. The hay has finally dried, so it's good to go to get bailed. And then uh, I'm thinking after that, we can actually get some cows out here because uh, that cattle pen right now, that's not making us any money. And if we can get some money, that'd be pretty helpful. Also, I know what you're going to say. Well, Austin, there's bales right here. Well, these have been sitting for a long time and they're pretty much rotten. So if any Anything, they're just gonna get burnt or used for uh, bedding but I'm not too sure yet at any rate if we want cattle out here we're gonna have to get some hay and fast now I did get an interesting call this morning if you look straight out that way right where that fence is there's a whole another hay field out there now my neighbor they live just down there asked me if I wanted to cut that field and bale it and since it's their land we'd split everything 50 50 so I pay for the fuel use my machines to do all the work and my time and the hay gets split 50 50 because it is their land so I'm thinking if we have enough time today we'll get to that but we still got a lot to do around here and job number one is getting this tractor and this cedar cleaned because it is absolutely filthy now here's the thing we are still about two or three more weeks away from being able to plant soybeans so we got a little bit on that so we're not really going to be using the uh the cedar so may as well get it nice and clean there we go it's looking a whole lot better except i just went through a mud puddle and immediately got it dirty i can't have anything nice out here I'm thinking since the hay is ready to go here and there's no time like the present, we're going to take the 2950 here and grab the Frontier Rake, which is going to need some servicing quick before we get it out in the field. Now, when I was talking to the original owner about some of the equipment out here, he said this Frontier Rake is basically brand new, he used it for one season and then put it away and that was the year he retired. The tines don't even look like they have hardly any paint off of them. At any rate, we're going to get it greased up and hopefully we can get it out into the field. Man, red rake on a green tractor. There's just something wrong about that. I'm pretty sure we had a nearly identical rake on our old farm. It was just green, which matched the tractors a bit better. But I guess this works just as well. But yeah, that field right behind us, that's the one we're going to be cutting. Apparently that place is some sort of a horse stable. They just bought it and uh, they're going to be opening it up. They don't have any hay equipment and that backfield there kind of needs to be cut. It works out great for me because I get to keep 50% of that. All these nice warm windy days are really nice for hang season because uh in a matter of two days after cutting this hay was ready to go it's a really quick turnaround time the trick is if it can rain right after you finish bailing that's great then the grass starts to grow again immediately okay we're good to go to bail here i'm just debating whether the case is too big for the baler is it gonna look ridiculous yeah i guess we'll see now all i've got to transport bales is that uh massive flatbed trailer might be a bit ridiculous to just bring them across the field and into the farmyard so oh I, I did not just hit the semi ignore that anyways i'm thinking we'll just probably transport them with the loaders oh yeah this doesn't look too bad i think this will work i'm not sure what quality of bales this thing's gonna make but i guess we'll see i did have a look over on this thing and uh there was only one chain that needed to be replaced and we were good all right it looks decent I think it'll work. Only problem is this thing doesn't have one of those kickouts, so uh makes it just a little bit of a pain. You almost gotta pull forward after kicking out the bale, just so you can close the baler again without hitting it. Like look at this. Bale's gonna come out, gonna be too close for me to close. Then I gotta move forward, do it again. Well, I'm just getting the last of what's on the field here. I haven't checked how many bales we've made just yet. And since we're gonna be cutting the next piece here real soon, I'm just gonna leave what's in here in the baler. All right, so I did a check of the counter there and we made 16 bales, which is not too bad. I mean, it's not anything too crazy, but it's better than nothing. On the plus side, if we get some cattle, I can get some manure and uh, start spreading it out on the field, which would be really nice. Well, I just finished taking some pictures of the 2950 here because it is going up for sale. Now, the reason why is is because we already have more than enough tractors to run this farm and frankly we just don't need this one i mean i could see it being nice for some things but if we can get the extra cash that'd probably be a good thing because we're not gonna have any income for a little bit at least until the next cut of hay or something else i'm not too sure yet i just had an idea along with posting this thing for sale i'm just gonna put it out front stick a little for sale sign on it maybe it'll sell sooner yeah right there i wonder if this guy had like a three-point hitch bale spear 
would make it a little bit easier for us to grab these bales. Maybe there's something behind here. What is this? Oh, no way. It's a flipping pedal tractor. Oh, this is kind of cool. Hold on. Let me drag this thing out of here. Oh, man, that is sick. Hold on. I'm, I want to get this thing washed off here. I'm just going to bring it out front to the pressure washer. Check this thing out. Oh, this is a pretty cool little find. This thing is so covered in dirt. It's not that bad, though. Some of the paint's chipped or whatnot, but it's not in too bad a condition. I think I just found the biggest tractor on the farm here. It's going to be the new workhorse. <laughs> this thing's so ridiculous. I mean, you could put a square bale in here easy. Well, I may as well go stick this in the garage. It's probably an antique, to be honest. We'll bring this thing out next time we need to do a big job on the farm. Something one of the other tractors definitely couldn't handle. All right, so I am on my way to a cattle auction here. We're going to go see if we can uh, get some at a decent price. I don't know what the going rate is around here. No, back at the other farm, they were pretty expensive, so hopefully uh, stuff's a little cheaper around here. And we're not buying dairy cows this time, so should be better on the pricing because it's beef cows. Well, it's the next day here, and I guess you could say I uh, was successful at the cattle auction. I spent 30 thousand dollars bringing us to just under twenty thousand on exactly 20 cows now this is the last load here there was two loads this is the last one but i gotta say look at this kenworth holy smokes so when he airs out look how low this thing sits to the ground it, it's on the ground i need a truck like this but rest of the cows are gonna get unloaded here and then i have got to get some hay in here asap they've already got water they're good to go there they just need some hay we got the cows now I'm for some hay. I think I'm just going to go with two bales for now. That should do it. That is if I can grab them. Holy smokes. Well, I got them, but uh, I may need to get a bale spear on this because this bucket just does not work for bales. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Can I take it through the shed? No. No, oh, it's going to be too tall. Probably the beacon's going to hit on the top there, so we'll just have to go through this gate. All right, cows, I'm trusting you will not go out of the gate. You guys do that for me? Okay, well, they got some hay. That should last them for a little bit. We'll grab the rest of the bales here fairly soon. Oh, I forgot. I had my good gooseneck. I still don't think we need to load them on the gooseneck just to get them in here. Yeah, it's just gonna be better just to take them via the tractors. So I know we don't have that much money at the moment here, but I really need to find a land roller because for these fields that we have out here, we seriously need one. And is that, is that a stuck tractor? Oh, it is too. I know whose tractor that is and he's not here. Dang, I guess he was mowing the ditches here and he ran into this real muddy spot. This corner was pretty much filled right to the brim with water earlier this spring and now it's just turned into a big old muck hole and it looks like he's pretty stuck i'm gonna give him a call maybe he went to go grab one of his other tractors but i guess we'll see okay so i just had a chat with the guy uh he had to run out to a meeting and he ended up getting this stuck right before that he was literally gonna finish this pass and then head home and uh his other tractor that would be able to pull this out is uh in the field seating right now so he can't take it off the seater so he's a little bit screwed and he asked me if i could actually help him pull it out so he's at a meeting right now but i do have a chain in the case so maybe we'll be able to get it out with that well i guess my tractor gets to come off the seater now I hope this thing can pull it out. I guess we'll find out though. Well, I couldn't find the chain, but I did find a tow rope here. So we're going to see if we can yank it out of here. Okay. Well, I think we got it good enough here. We're going to try to see if we can give this thing a pull out of here. The mower is already lifted up and I did kick the Ford into neutral and we're moving. Oh, come on now. It's lifting the whole front end up. Oh man. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it up there. Oh, we're so close. Come on now. That bat wing in the mud is just not helping the situation, but I think we almost got it. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of traffic on this road so we're good oh come on you're so close there you go there you go we're really giving the oh the tractor's lifting up we're really giving that weight attachment a uh run for its money here and i think we got it well hopefully he will uh stay out of that corner because that is rough I'll just park it up here for now. This is actually a really cool tractor. I kind of want one of these. So it's uh, one of the older Fords. It's got like this fancy steering deal on the front, which is really awesome. Not really sure what benefits it has, but it's cool. And would you look at that? I got my case all dirty now. It'd be nice if things dried up around here because all my equipment is constantly getting filthy around here and I'm really getting sick and tired of washing it. But I'm going to let that guy know I got his tractor out. So hopefully when he gets back from his meeting, he can uh, get back to work on that. So funny story. I just got off the phone with the guy and he said, if I wanted, I could take that tractor and uh, push hog and mow my farm if I wanted to, as thanks for getting his tractor out. So I think we're going to do that. And I'm going to try not to get his tractor stuck because that would not be fun. Trying to get it out again. I should honestly get a lawnmower for this place. And uh, a massive bat wing is not exactly ideal for getting stuff like this done, but it is working. We just barely squeezed through here and it is really muddy through here. I got to be careful. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, get in my yard there like the small part by my house. Yeah, not even going to try that. I'm just going to leave that till I eventually get a mower, a smaller one at least. The only part I actually wanted to get was like the strip in between the bins. So we're going to move some of this equipment here so 
I can actually uh, get in here and get it done. So after getting the last of the equipment I needed to move out of the way, I hopped back in the Ford and got to work cleaning up around the bins, which was pretty much just one swipe down and I was finished. And after having my fun with the neighbor's equipment, I decided it was probably time to go do some work with my own. So I grabbed the hay barn and headed out to a field just down from the farm. But this definitely was not one of our fields. In fact, it was one of my neighbors who had called me not too long ago to inquire if I wanted to mow this and split the hay 50-50, which of course I agreed considering I did not have that many bales as it was. And with the headlands now finished, I started to notice that this field was a decent amount bigger than mine. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit jealous because from what I've been told, hay around here goes for big money. But I was gonna have to be happy with what I had. So with the last pass of the field finally finished up, it was now time to let it dry out for the next couple of days. We could get it raked and bailed, and with any luck, we'd make some profit, or at least have enough hay to feed the cows, whichever one comes first. Okay, so for the second time today, I'm actually heading out to go look at a land roller. I got caught up cutting the hay and uh, getting my neighbor out of the ditch there. So hopefully no distractions this time. Well, I have spent nearly all of my money, $15,000. That only leaves us with just under 5,000. I picked up a roller. It sure as heck ain't the fanciest thing, but uh, I think it'll do the job. I hope, and it's one heck of a piece of equipment to tow home. At least we made it back to the farm in one piece. It's definitely not built for travel. It's made to unfold and go in a field. I'm hoping that tractor sells soon though because I need some cash and I'm gonna need it soon. I really just gotta quit spending money, but uh, there's certain things this farm needs. And without them, it ain't gonna run right. Anyways, I'm gonna go wash some equipment. Hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.